Hello everyone. A string of negligible mass going over a clamped pulley of mass M support a block of mass M as shown in the figure. So this is the capillary M and this is the small M, mass of the pulley and mass of the block. The force on the pulley by the clamp is given by. So we have to calculate here how much force is applied by this clamp. Okay. So this is the clamp given the how much force is applied by this clamp on the pulley we have to calculate. So the force which acting on this block of mass M that is vertically downward there is a mg is acting weight of the block. So there will be a tension will be acting on the string upward. The same way here also there is a tension in this direction it will be acting same as this tension itself. Tension will be acting here in this direction and also in this direction also there will be a tension will be acting. Everything will be same only. Now one more force is acting the that is the weight of the pulley. Weight of the pulley is also acting vertically downward. So this much force is acting on the clamp. So let's see this one which all forces are acting on the clamp here. So there is a tension which is acting towards the left that is a tension and there is a force which all forces are acting downward here. We can say that there is a weight due to capillary M and due to small m. So we can write here small m plus capillary m into g that is a force acting vertically downward. Now in the first picture you can look at this one. This is in equilibrium. So we can write here the tension T is equal to capital letter M into G. So tension is given by capital letter M into G. So the resultant of these two forces tension and M plus M into G will be acting diagonally. Okay. So if I say this is the resultant force, we can calculate here the resultant force R is equal to square root of tension square plus m plus m into g the whole square this is in the whole square now therefore r is equal to what is the tension tension is equal to mg itself right so mg the whole square plus m plus m into g the whole square that is resultant force R is equal to you see this one G square G square is common you can take it outside then square root of remaining one M square plus M plus M the whole square so which is the correct answer here the option D is the right answer that means the resultant force due to tension and M plus M into G acting in this direction so same force must be applied by the clamp on the pulley. So this is the final answer. Hope you understood this one. Thank you.